Hey everybody, today is Saturday, February 3rd, 2024. I am with Chris, I am with John, and we are here in Pottstown, Pennsylvania, North Coventry, Norco, Pennsylvania. And we are here at the Norco Fire Company for their indoor flea market, which I've been to once before, X amount of years ago. They, I think, I, guess, I don't know if they do this every year. I have no idea, but it's been a couple of years since I've been to this. But last time I was here, I got myself a sweet, big, giant Spice Girl, like doll box set for like 10 bucks. It was awesome. So if I could get another one of those today, that'd be fantastic. But of course we're looking for movies. We're looking for Muppet stuff. I want to get a giant fire truck. Maybe they have fire trucks for sale in there. We're looking for, <laughs> we're looking for what? Video games? Just John stuff. Just John stuff. Just John stuff. We're gonna. Fire trucks and John stuff. Let's do this. Hey John stuff. Let's we're we're gonna see what we can find today. I, I'm excited. It's been a while since we've been to a uh, to a flea market, and it's indoors, so we don't have to deal with the the cold. All right, so John's finding some action figures here that have seen some better days. Ooh, it's it's Poe. <laughs> I mean, nailed it. Is that Ozzy Osbourne? Look at that. Wow, wow, that is that is intense. There's a. A Mighty Max playset there. Splinter. All right. I mean, nothing I really necessarily need, but we're finding some, some cool things. He shoots stuff out of his nose. He does, but he doesn't have the nose shooting thing. He's missing his snot. It's not there. It's not there. And so it begins. All right. So we're finding a few movies here, though I don't really see anything I, I necessarily need. Just a bunch of... VHS and and DVDs. Some interesting things like uh, Mr. Nice Guy unopened, brand new factory seal. They had uh, Kirby fully loaded, unopened, driven, brand new factory sealed. So some <laughs> some interesting things. But I mean, but, I mean this you, you do not have this in your collection. I don't. Do I have wacky babies in my collection? I don't have. I do. I, I will fully admit I do not have wacky babies in my in my collection. It'd be a lot wackier but if you did. I think you need, oh jeez, you need Dog the, the Bounty Hunter. There you go. Ooh, I found him. There you go. Is that, what he, is that what he sounds like? I have no idea. <laughs> according, according to Chris. No idea. Perfect impersonation. You sound like, um, you sound, you sound like the, the guy from um, Wa Waterboy. Uh, I don't know. I don't know his name either. Blake Clark, that was his name. He was Sean Hunter's dad oh. in Boy Meets World. How did, how did we forget, forget that? How could we possibly I feel like forget that? It's Boy Meets World. I feel like we, uh, we need to revoke our, our 90s card. Here's a whole bin full of all kinds of action figures and Happy Meal toys. Look at the awesome Yogi Bear. That's cool. Oh my, oh my gosh. The Rangers, the Ra Rangers worst nightmare. The Rangers not gonna like that Yogi. That is really cool. Or, or. I'm having some Murgatroyd. <laughs> I've been Cindy, Cindy verified. Mm, mm, mm. That's awesome. There's some pretty cool things in here. There's um, some real Ghostbusters. Yeah, there, there are some cool toys in here. Unfortunately, I asked how much a piece, and he said they're not doing it a piece. The, the whole box is just 15 bucks. He wants to get rid of them all. So that, I mean, that's cool and all, but I don't really want like 95% of what's in there. I just kind of want the, I kind of want the Ghostbuster, and I kind of want the uh, the Yogi Bear, maybe a couple of other things. So. I'm gonna pass. We turn our backs for like four seconds and we see we see John over here buying. What, what did you buy there? Oh, uh, look at that. You're, you're already getting your action figures, your green lantern. That is actually really cool. The stand's awesome. Is this like a whole work with like a line that you now need to collect? Or is that, is that a one-off? All right, that, that, that's $7. Just, is it an action figure or just a statue? Is it a statue or action figure? It's a big it's a bookend. It's it's neither. <laughs> it's a bookend. Wait, no, wait it looks what? like one arm moves. <laughs> I, I mean, can adjust the. Left it's pretty arm. cool. Yeah, for seven bucks, that's that's pretty awesome. It's got all kinds of fig pins here and Funko pops and all kinds of. Oh wow! Oh my gosh, these are awesome. And wow, those are super crazy minty. These were the um, little toys that came with Happy Meals back in the day, but they were done in these like VHS boxes. That's cool. They're like little VHS clamshells. That is really, cool. Really nice looking Happy Meal toys. These, these were, these these were so right well here. Done. Yeah, right here. These were some of the best Happy Meals toys ever made, period. This one has like a plush tail to it. Those are awesome. The oh, he has plush body. Oh, he's plush. Yeah, yeah, that's that's cool. The, the uh, Robin Hood had a plush tail. Wow. Those, those are pretty awesome. Like half tempted to just pick all those up and 
put them on a shelf somewhere. But I'm only half tempted, so I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna be smart because because that's only some of them. There's there's more than that out there. I'm gonna be smart and I'm gonna just walk away before I decide I need a a full collection of those. All right, so again, Chris is gonna pass on the uh, the toys because he has those like 17 times over. But you pick up the uh, the bags the toys came in. Yeah, that is really cool. So pick these, a bag, any bag. I'm gonna I'm gonna pick this one right right here. So these are the uh, the old Happy Meals bags that is really really cool Pop, and that's his name I like how you know every single character what's the that's rizzo oh that's rizzo okay animal, animal of course uh, this is um king king mick the gorf <laughs> yes kermit the frog obviously. yeah and miss piggy and fozzy what, what are their names squire trelawney benjamina gun and, and captain <laughs> smile the movie. but where's where's tim curry no <laughs> that's wrong that's wrong mcdonald Anyway, it's Tim uh, Curry oh, it's in disguise. Tim, That's, he has a clown mask from I, it. I was going to say, it's Tim Curry as Pennywise. <laughs> anyway, that is awesome. These are really cool. So you're picking up the, the whole like stack of them here for yes. two bucks? Yes. All right, that's cool find. So wait, so John found something, you found something. You're missing out. Right? I've got I've to gotta find something. Once again, John's picking up some stuff. So you're grabbing some Xbox 360 games. What do you got here? Dead Island Riptide. All, all right. And uh, Gears of War... Three. I've, I've heard of Gears of War. Never I've never heard of either Dead either. Islands. All right. You, you never heard of either of them? You just... I've just never played. I know what they are. All right. What about two, two bucks a piece? Yeah. Not I mean, that sounds like a good deal for video games to me. I, again, I still haven't found anything, and we're already, like, halfway through the um, the indoor flea market. I, I'm keeping that power of positivity alive. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say I'm going to find something, but... I, I, again, power of positivity, but it's, it's not looking great. All right, I feel like I'm getting a little warmer here. So we got some more DVDs and some interesting things as well. A lot of these being brand new factory sealed. A couple of Wii games. I don't really know if my son would be into the Harry Potter game. I don't think he's actually ever seen the, the movies, which is my fault. I I own up to that one. Teacher's pet. I, I know. <laughs> There's some, uh, some dance workout. Don't think Sean would be into that one much. So I don't know. I'm probably going to end up pass, passing on those. I already had Benji actually. I already already own that. Some some decent music as well, but it's all stuff I I have. So all right, we're we're finding better things, but of course it's once again just better better things I don't need. Although what I was not going to pass on was what was right up front, and that was a copy of um, Wii Sports, a minty copy of of Wii Sports. This this still goes for a little bit of money. I'm not picking this up for me. I already I already have Wii Sports in my uh, in my son's Wii mine my son's Wii collection but um yeah for the store I'm, I'm gonna be grabbing that that's that's an awesome find for for one dollar I'll buy I'll buy a copy of Wii Sports any day for for a dollar good find I still don't have anything for me though but it is it is, it is a good find there's a whole box of VHS clamshells down here and some standard VHS as well some cool things like the the infamous not recalled but redone Little Mermaid artwork there that's pretty awesome Swan Princess Blank check, a kid in King Arthur's court, unfortunately without the lenticular card. So some cool things, just, I got nothing I actually need. Some DVDs over here, again, not stuff I actually need, but this is pretty awesome. Angry Birds Star Wars for the Wii. I love Angry Birds. I used to play this on my phone all the time. My son has played this game. I know he likes it. So I'm thinking for $5, I'm going to, I'm going to grab that for him. So I got him. I think it's something I, I'm finding more stuff. It's just still not stuff for for me. All right, so that's already gonna do it for the uh, for the Norco Fire Company indoor flea market. I I found some Wii games. That that's that's fun. One to sell. One for my son. You those Muppet bags were pretty amazing. John got himself an action figure and an so action figure party. bookend. An action figure bookend and some uh, some video games. So all right. Not a whole lot going on in there, but we did find some some things. That's not it for today, though, right? We're, we're going somewhere else. No, somewhere else. I today it's just begun. I don't know. I have I have no idea where else we're gonna go, but we're going somewhere else. All right. So we decided to make the uh, half hour ish, twenty minute, tw the, the little bit of a drive out to the uh, out to the Morgantown, Pennsylvania area. We haven't been to these been to these Goodwills in a while, so we're here at the Morgantown. Goodwill. We're going to hit up this. We're going to go to the East Earl Goodwill, maybe some of the other stores in the area as well. There's a, there's a lot of thrift stores out here. Probably not going to hit them all up, but 
we'll do a we'll do a couple of them. Again, it's been a while. I, I usually do pretty well inside this uh, the store, so I'm excited to be out here. Ooh, Chris is grabbing some power and positivity. All right, so I'm not trying to count my chickens before they hatch, as they as they say, but wow, that's a lot of DVDs and Blu-rays and all all kinds of of stuff. So they they actually do have a fairly decent media section here to uh, to go through. All right, I'm, I'm happy we came out here. What do you think? I'm At least. I'm thinking I'm a I'm a little turned on. I don't want to say I jinxed myself, but maybe I possibly jinxed myself a, a little bit there because I'm not really finding a whole heck of a lot, with, with the exception of, of two interesting titles. But uh, yeah, most of this is stuff I, I, of course, already own. But I did come across these. Passport to Europe with Samantha Brown. I loved this show back in the day. I used to watch it on the uh, the Travel Channel all the time. And I will fully admit I, I maybe had a little bit of a crush on um, on on Samantha Brown. I, I might still follow her on on Instagram. Anyway, this is pretty awesome. I'm, I'm actually pretty excited to pick this up. It's still brand new factory sealed for, for $3. I do like this show. I am going to grab that. And I'm also going to pick up some Ken Burns America collection, Empire of the Air, The Men Who Made Radio. It's a Ken Burns documentary that I, don't, that I do not have. Of course, I'm, I'm picking that up. So, all right. As far as movies are concerned, just, just two documentaries because that's what I need in my collection. More, more documentaries. I forgot they locked the bathrooms. <laughs> John, John needs a key. So as I was over there looking through the movies, Chris just completely disappeared on us. And this, this is why, because you're finding all kinds of interesting things. So you're grabbing a, a Spider-Man bag? I found this bag of bags. Bag of bags. But inside this bag of bags, there is a oh, Sesame Street bag. Oh, look at that. Bag. That's cool. It's kind of hard to see. Is that there. from like Sesame Place or no, just, just, just a, just a, just a Halloween bag? It's a Halloween Sesame bag. That's cool. Cool bats. There we got I mean, Bert Ernie, Elmo, Rover Cooking Monster. That's kind of cool. And there's two of them in there. And it's uh, even though... There's a, there's a giant Elmo bag or something. No, no, no. It's even Claus. though you were supposed to stop collecting for Sesame Street, right? Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> that, that did I mean, that clearly did not happen. Clearly didn't happen. But it's, I mean, uh, it's on bucks, sale for it's yeah, it's on 50. sale. So all right. And then I found another Sesame Street thing, which I know, but it is what it is. All the right. day Stuffy had the sniffles, the fourth anniversary version. Okay. And it comes with a full poster. Oh, nice. So, and it's like minty in there. That's, that's awesome. And for every child, a better world. Written, written, like, <laughs> written by Kermit the Frog. Written by Kermit the Frog. I mean, so how could you resist that? Written by Kermit the Frog. It says it right. Do there. those kids have names? Meanie, Miney, and the little dog of Mo. Mm. So you're gonna pick up all the Sesame Street that you're no longer collecting for, but you're gonna pass on the the awesome vintage My Little Pony like yeah. tray puzzle. This this uh, tape will totally rip that Wait, stuff off. They, why would you do yeah. that, Goodwill? Wow. It's totally gonna take all the paint right off, the color right they off. They just... And it's kind of chipped anyway, so it's gonna be a mess. It's gonna be a mess. A why shame. would they tape... Why would they tape over that? I... Good, Goodwill, we're, 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 we're just asking. What? My little goodness, my little goodness. My little destroyed tray puzzle, jeez. Yeah. I have asked this question before, and I'm probably going to ask it again, but what happens to all the remotes for all these players that get donated? Do they just not get turned in? Do they, d does Goodwill lose them? I mean, occasionally you see a remote taped to the actual player, but I'd say nine times out of 10, none of these ever have the remotes. And I just, I want to know where, where are they? Where do they go? Were they not donated or did Goodwill lose them? I, I, I don't know, but... They do have some 3D Blu-ray players, which is cool. An Insignia one and um, a Sony one, which is awesome. Good thing about Sony, though, is all the remotes are universal. So if you have an old Sony Blu-ray player remote, it will work with this. That is cool. For only um, for only $9.99, though. It's 50% off. Yeah, now. green tag stuff today is on sale for 50% off. That's a pretty good deal. Five bucks for a 3D Sony Blu-ray player. Are you picking that up? I think so. I was gonna say that, yeah, it's a heck of a deal. Five bucks. All right, you're gonna grab that. What what I'm what I'm gonna grab, I mean probably not, but I, I should. Check this out. So you're probably thinking, okay, it's a it's a VCR. And yes, you are right, it is a VCR. But it's not a VHS VCR. This is a beta VCR. Now there is something you don't see very often. I, I do already have like three or four of these, 
So do I really need another one? No, but I mean, how often do you come across a, a beta VCR anywhere out in the wild? That is awesome to see. They're only asking $8 for it. Honestly, if it was half price, I might have just picked it up for the heck of it. It's missing its little like front door area, but still that's, that's tempting. I mean, I, I would say there's a good chance it probably doesn't work, but you never know. I'm, I'm gonna regret not buying that, aren't I? Okay, so I might be passing on the beta VCR, but Chris is not passing on the on the beta VCR. I have Good. some Muppet beta that I've been meaning to beta test for a long time. <laughs> so, all right. I need to check this out. I mean, yeah. I, Eight dollars for a beta VCR? Absolutely pick that up. If you don't have one, get that. That's that's awesome. Again, I'm going to regret not picking up picking it up myself, but I'm glad it's going to a good home. You know what? I would have handed it over anyway, so good find. Well, good, good find on my part. Good find. I'm thinking this is not exactly in working condition anymore, but this is really interesting. It's a Duquesne, like, film projector thing, which got the, the screen there. So somehow you put your, your film reel in there, and it supposedly somehow then plays and I guess bounces off the oh, the, the mirror and, and, the mirror and, here, like, and projects and then it here and, there, and you like watch it here. TV. Just like so, a portable TV, basically. Yeah. But do you, do you think it here's works? A, here's a handle for it. You bring it with you. You can watch I mean, the movies, right? You that's go. pretty awesome. I've never really seen anything like this before. Yeah, I, I don't know. Like, do I really need something like this? Probably not. That is pretty awesome, though. I mean, you could take it with you traveling. <laughs> I could take, <laughs> I could take my, um, Convenience. What, what, I don't even know what format it is. Is it, is it eight millimeter? Is it 16, super eight? I, I have no idea. 33 and a half or, or 45. That's almost like a record. Wait, is this a, is this even? Okay, I have no idea what this thing is. Okay, so we were kind of sort of completely off. It's not actually a film projector. It's more of a slide projector, but it also plays records. So I guess you, I, we're, we're probably getting this completely wrong, but I guess you play the record and show the slides at the same time. It's, it's a whole weird thing. Apparently it's like crazy rare and the ball that's in it is like worth $40 alone. It's, it's pretty interesting. This is really cool, but I don't really need something like this. I, if I sold this kind of stuff, I, I may have actually picked this up to put on eBay or something because, again, it's a, it's apparently somewhat rare, but I don't really know what it is. I don't really need something like that. It's pretty cool to see something like that out in the wild. That we're, I mean, we're finding all kinds of, like, I wonder if there's somebody who collected this stuff. I mean, a, a beta VCR, this thing all at one time in the store. I only could find, I'm trying to think of what I want. CED player. I, I, I'd take another one of those. Video 8. If I could find a Video 8 VCR in working condition, that, that is what I would take. I would, I don't, I don't have one of those. I, I have to watch my, my Video 8s through a, um, a Video 8 camcorder with, with outputs, which basically functions like a VCR, but I'd rather just have a, a standalone Video 8 VCR. That is, that is on my wish list. What you, uh, what you doing there, John? I'm walking here. He's scooting. Let me make He's a hard run. Any... Whoop. Anyway, so I feel like my ankles are going to get taken out. Anyway, so um, what's Chris over here finding? Yeah. That's cool. Blood rats clock. I want the, the Reptar boom box. That is cool. It's a little slightly scratched. Not, not I like how bad. I like how Tommy is, uh, is rocking the, the jean jacket and, um, and Chucky there's got the cool hair going on. They're kind of like rockabilly style. That's cool. Yeah, I had one of these clocks years ago. We found one and it sold pretty fast in the store. So I think I'm going to pick it up. Pick it up? For the, uh, for the booths. Nice. All right. For the booths. I mean, that's cool. Fine. But if, if I could find that Reptar boombox, that would be for me. All right. So I'm thinking we're just about done here at this Goodwill, but there is still one more thing I'm going to pick up, and that's this Captain Underpants and the revolting, ro <laughs> revolting revenge of the radioactive Robo Boxers. Just rolls right off the tongue. This is a um, hardcover book as well. They're selling for for three bucks. Not. Not bad. My son has become a huge fan of uh, the Captain Underpants series. He does not have this book, so I'm going to grab this for uh, for him. And I'm thinking that's going to do it. I I don't see anything else. We're, we're finding some cool stuff here, though. I'm, I'm happy we came in here. Would have been a little happier had I actually needed a whole bunch of these 
these DVDs and Blu-rays, but I mean, Samantha Brown, it, it works. I don't usually look through plush anymore. Not really something I, I care about because I don't, I don't resell this kind of stuff, but um, maybe I should because check this out, the Pikachu plush with tags. This is so brand new and they're only asking $3 on this. My son is going to lose his mind. I am absolutely buying this for Sean. That is awesome. Yeah, brand new Pikachu for three bucks. That's coming home with me. So I am picking up the, uh, the pretty awesome Pikachu plush. Chris is over here checking out the, the vintage Minnie Mouse plush with tags. It's kind of cool. What are, what are they asking on that? It's like $2.50 because it's like <sighs> half price. Are you, not, are you not buying that? I think I should. I honestly think you should too. I mean, yeah, it's, if it didn't have its tags, tags I would say no, yeah. pass on a bit with the tags. tags. You should, for, yeah. that, for that price, I should probably pick this up. you should absolutely pick that up for, for, this, for the store, for, yeah. 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 for the conventions. Exactly. Yeah, buy that. All right, so yeah, that is gonna do it for Goodwill. I'm happy though. I mean, I got some cool documentaries, some Samantha Brown, got some uh, some Captain Underpants for Sean, and a really awesome, amazing Pikachu plush for for Sean as well. All this came out to like like ten bucks. It was awesome. You guys got some cool stuff as well. I'm still kind of um, jealous over that that beta VCR. Hopefully, it works. We'll always know after uh, some beta testing. So eight bucks for that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what that joke wasn't? Beta that, tested. That, oh! that, that, that joke was, was you walking home. All right, so next stop on our thrifting adventure brings us out to East Earl, Pennsylvania for the, the airplane hangar Goodwill. It's been a little while since I've... How's that? Going in for a landing? Anyway, haven't been here in a little while, so pretty excited to see what they have. I believe last time I was here, found some some fairly decent some fairly decent deals down downstairs in the uh, the media section. I think they actually moved their media section. There was some good stuff to uh, to be found. Although before we do head downstairs, we we, we got to see what's in the uh, the counter. The only thing they really have up here in the front counter are video games, which is cool. I, I think John's maybe. Possibly freaking out right now. Any? No, no nothing. Nothing you want. No. I am intrigued by the uh, the M and M cart racing. It's only five dollars. I I don't know. Me, maybe we'll we'll see what I find downstairs. If I don't find very much, maybe I'll come back up and uh, and pick that up. I'm I'm gonna leave John behind, I guess, because Chris already went downstairs, and I feel like I'm I'm missing out on all the deals. If I don't head down here right now. Oh. There, there he is. I'm gonna do my best not to jinx myself uh, a second time, but there's a fairly decent amount of, of media here. Chris is already finding some some Sesame Street. I mean, guess that shape and color. I, I don't know either of these things, colors or shapes, so maybe I should start guessing. You, you should. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess what movie I'm gonna find. Um, something starring Dom DeLuise. All right, so no joke. This is actually a really awesome find. It's Playtime with Puppy Dog Pals. I love this Disney Junior show. It's really, really good. I have another Puppy Dog Pals release in my collection, but I don't have this one. And what's really awesome is it's still brand new factory sealed. Usually when you find these, they, they've been opened and they are a hockey puck. But to be honest, I don't usually even find them in that condition. I don't find these ever. So. That's a really, really cool find for only $2.99. I am definitely picking this up. I don't care, go go ahead. Go ahead, make fun. Wow. 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 I'm buying my pu puppy dog pals. Wow. wow. Well, unfortunately, no Dom DeLuise here for me today, but I am pretty happy with my, my puppy dog pals. That's an awesome find. That is really, really cool, but I'm thinking that's gonna do it for uh, the media. I don't see anything else. I even went through all the CDs and did not see anything else I want to pick up. So no, no other DVDs, no Blu-rays. Are you grabbing Dogma? Yes. I mean, that's a cool find. It's, it's, a it's like out of print, right? And a portable heater. What do you like stick, stick that on the wall? Yeah, because they, uh... That is weird. All right. What do you want that? Oh, okay. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah. All right. Keep my kitchen warm a little bit. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. All right. So that's going to do it for the airplane hangar Goodwill here in East yeah. Earl, I mean, easy peasy lemon squeezy in, in and out. Just grabbing the uh, the puppy dog pals. You're grabbing the dogma, the heater. Yes. No, nothing for, no, 
No Muppets in there whatsoever? Well, there was an Elmo. <laughs> That's about it. But I, but I guess I won't be picking that up. All right. I'm, I'm going to regret this, but on to our next stop. Okay, so next stop brings us a little bit down the road into New Holland, Pennsylvania. We're here at the Lucky Dog Thrift Shop. It's actually Lucky Dog and then, what is this one called? Lucky Dog. Lucky Dog and used to be thrift store. Kind of a brother-sister type thing. Pretty awesome store. We usually do find some some decent stuff in here. And it's been months mm -hmm. oh, yeah. since we've last been in here. So I'm going to call it now. We're going to find something good. Or I just jinxed us. It's, it's going to be one of those two. All right. So the, the good news is they do have movies here still. I just beelined it right over to the, the movies. The bad news is it looks like pretty much all the same stuff they had last time I was inside the store. So either they just really haven't gotten anything new in or they've been picked through and somebody else got all the good stuff. But the other good news is there are these little random pockets of DVDs and VHS and DVDs and uh, and VHS and whatnot all throughout the store. So there is still the uh, the opportunity to find at least one or two good DVDs. But even regardless of the movies, this place is just, it's huge. And this is just the the downstairs section. There's a full upstairs area as well. We're going to be here a while. I don't know how I just completely walked past these, but there are a ton more DVDs and even some Blu-rays over here as well but uh, again of course it's just it's all stuff i i have there's nothing i actually need with the exception well with what would have been the exception of this an a e documentary all about sears i know what whatever you can make fun of me all you want no, it's just hockey puck. this is awesome i totally would have picked this up but but unfortunately yeah the disc has seen some uh, better days it looks like it came loose in the case yeah that's that's not looking pretty so i <laughs> That's a shame. I, I totally would have picked up a, uh, a documentary all about all about Sears. I, I would have watched that thing immediately. That's awesome, but I'm gonna have to pass. All right, so Chris is finding all the all the good stuff apparently. Wow, check check this out. A new kids on the block game. That is really Still really cool. Yeah, brand, brand new, new factory sealed, sealed, which is what blows me away. What do they ask? Ooh, I mean, it's probably. Probably what that goes for, brand new factory sealed. That is cool. Not the right stuff for me though. Uh oh. Uh -oh. But I know you're such a new, uh, 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 such a such a new, you such got a. The right stuff, baby. Ooh, city locker, that's In the cool. middle of an Oreo, right? Anyway, you're not a big MKOTB fan. I, know I like that him. one part. Oh, okay. I mean the no Spice Girls, right? That's exactly. That's yeah. Cool. Chris is over here checking out the the Kermit and Bert and Ernie. This watch. is baby Those are Kermit. Called, sorry. This is baby, baby Kermit. Got to get it right. Get it right. I'm going to assume you already have both of those. I do. Well, all of them. I, I'm over here checking out the, the Cindy Lauper cards. I had no idea they made these. Back in the day, there, there was a time when they made trading cards for everything. everything and everyone. Those are cool. 40 bucks for a, for a full pack. It's kind of tempting. But okay, here's the question. Is Chris about to freak out? He might, because I just saw this over here. Do you have those? Oh, the like, that's interesting. They, uh, so yeah. they change their their bodies. Like, oh, that's that's from Elmo and Grouchland because okay. that's the Grouch. So I don't think I have it. That's interesting. Ah, so, interesting. Did I just find something Chris doesn't have? Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, at Stupid Sesame Street, which you should no longer be collecting for. Also true. But we'll you're gonna, you're gonna you're gonna ask to see them and probably end up picking them up. We'll, we'll yeah, see. probably. We'll see. We'll see. Well, while Chris is over here going through his list or whatever, trying to figure out if he actually needs those things or not, I'm looking at uh, at this and I'm thinking I'm going to pick this up. It's a 1979 Winnie the Pooh Hallmark ornament. That is awesome. We have um, four, five, five trees, I think. We've got a lot of Christmas trees at the new Florida house. It's it's kind of insane. Come. The whole entire house turns into essentially a... I'll do a video on it next year. The whole house basically turns into a winter wonderland come Christmas. It's kind of insane. Danielle goes nuts with decorating. What is that face for? Are you are you doing something in your underpants there? What's what's happening? <laughs> Anyways. He was thinking about all the madness and he cracked himself. <laughs> so anyway, when I come across... When I come across when I come across cool ornaments, I, I pick them up for the trees, and that one is really awesome. They're only asking two bucks. That's it, $2 for this. So, um, 
I'm buying this. What's that smell? <laughs> so again, keep in mind, we're just in the downstairs portion of this, this store. It goes all the way back here. There's all kinds of stuff back here. This is actually where we once found a really amazing Sesame Street light post used for like display, displaying. It was a gunned Sesame Street light post for gun for the for plush. the plush. It was awesome. And you you picked that up in a, a heartbeat here. That that was that was a cool find. Getting it into the the Kia was not so much fun, but it barely fit. We 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 got it in anyway. So like we're we're still walking through the store, and it goes all the way back here as well. I mean, look at this. This is a whole other store just in of itself. This place is so huge. That I'm gonna I'm gonna call it right now. Out of all the thrift stores in this area, and like the New Holland, Blue Ball, Morgantown area, the best, biggest, biggest, unique, the most, the most, the most, the biggest, the most unique. I'm, I'm gonna say, if you're gonna hit up at least one, if you're gonna hit up just one store, maybe make it this store. If you're gonna hit up a bunch of stores, make this one of them. They didn't get rid of the organ either. They didn't get rid of the, rid of the what? The organ that I played last time. You gonna play it now? Can you play some Slayer? It's not going to be Slayer. Mm. Also, if you're really into VHS, this is the store to go to. There are just a ton of VHS tapes. I, I've not seen this many tapes at one time in one place in a really, really long time. Not sure if there's actually anything I, I need or, or want. They do, though, have a ton of copies of, of Titanic on VHS. Do you remember this guy on YouTube? His name was, like, Cinema Suckness or something like that. He used to, like pick these up and say they were worth like a thousand dollars and i think i think it's some kind of crew and they used to like autograph them and the guy's a joke i don't know something that guy was yeah. th those videos were were terrible i can't believe people actually ever watched that guy uh, yeah, yeah. Ugh, ugh. Uh. actually i am finding something else pretty awesome there's a copy of the Whoopi boys i came across a copy of this maybe like two three years ago in georgia with the twins with josh and caleb i passed on this i was I kind of regretted doing that. They they actually ended up picking this up. I think it's out of print. So this is cool. I don't know how much their tapes are here. I'm thinking they are 50 cents for a for a VHS. So passing sadly on the, the really disgusting mm. maximum overdrive, but I am picking up the Whoopi Boys. Okay, so just found a little pocket of DVDs down here, mostly just kids titles. And within them, I did find a copy of this. Mickey Mouse Clubhouse Mini Rella, brand new, factory sealed. Not sure what they're asking for DVDs. I don't see, I don't see DVDs. It's, I mean, it says, that's VHS. I was going to say, it says movies, 50 cents. So I don't know if this is going to be a dollar or what, but for, um, maybe a dollar 50 actually. But that's fine. Brand new factory sealed Mickey Mouse Clubhouse DVD I don't actually own. I thought I had all these. Apparently I do not. So, all right, yeah, I'm grabbing that. We're slipping everything. That's a cool find. So as much as I praise this store and love this store and tell you guys you got to check this place out because it's so amazing, I will warn you, if you have issues with dust, you, you might want to stay away. I, I don't even usually have dust issues, but man, I can, <clears throat> I can barely talk right now. I can, I, can lit I can literally feel the dust in my throat at the moment. Myself, Chris, and John are all sneezing and, and coughing and just hacking up a lung. This store's amazing, but man, it's... Ever so slightly dusty. And this right here is the reason why we keep John around. The man is a genius. Look, look, look at this. How are you going to... Per perfect. Perfect way to walk around the store. <laughs> you know what? I take back everything I just said. <laughs> no, that's that's the reason why we keep, keep John around. I'm lit... I was literally laughing so hard. I am, I, I am now crying all the all the all the dust out of me. So, all right, what's uh, what's Chris finding? Well, over here in the over book, here. in the book section, <laughs> are you also gonna put them up to your face? <laughs> so, <I> anyway, <laughs> so, <laughs> just make out with the books. All right, so so what are we finding over here? Well, what I found over here was um, this oh, Muppet Babies okay. McDonald's Legend of Gimme Gulch book that was you know used as a Happy Meal kind of toy. Then there's a whole bunch of Fraggle oh, Rock wow. books, but they're all kind of jacked up, so I could not pick um, these up for my collection. I already do have them, but I would pick them up for the store, but there were, there's a whole bunch of them yeah. just really in bad shape. Um, also, a, a few Sesame Street books, but oh, that's what I was cool. Look at that. really tempted to pick up yeah. was this Count's Coloring Book, but unfortunately, it's um, been colored. 
And uh, wait, how many? You can, you can count the colors. I was gonna say how many? How many pages have been colored? Let's see. And we got uh, at least two. Well, what, three, what, one page. One, uh, two, uh, 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 two uh, pages. Three, uh, 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 four. Uh, uh. <laughs> four has been counted in. But wait, wait, but there's still one more. Oh, okay. Because I really wanted to pick up this fabulous World of Dr. Seuss oh. paint box fun. Little Cat's ABC book. Also colored in. Also uh. colored in. Or else I would totally be picking this up because I don't think I've ever seen this before. <laughs> It's pretty wobbly. It's a pretty wobbly find if it wasn't wobbly colored in already. You know what the sad thing is? Wait, 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 John's like John's right. like ten times funnier. He doesn't even know it. Oh, he knows it. <laughs> All right, so uh, that's gonna do it for for downstairs. The dusty old downstairs. We're now heading up to the the top portion of of the thrift store, which, by the way, is just as huge and insane and just goes on for forever and ever. But. <clears throat> At least our throat should be a, li a little better. Not on this side. Up here. No? no? <laughs> You'll find out. Great. Right away, we're finding some pretty cool things, like a whole bunch of CEDs, capacitance electronic discs. We got the Pink Panther and History of the World. That's awesome. There's a lot of really cool stuff here. These are in super minty condition, too, or at least as minty as I'm used to finding CEDs. I don't really collect for those anymore, so I am going to end up passing on those. But what I'm not going to pass on is what I'm seeing over here within all of these DVDs. I have never come across this before in the wild. Eight is Enough, the complete first season. Fantastic show that I, I mean, it makes sense that it was released a DVD, but I, again, I've never seen this before. Had no idea they so, released this so in the DVD. Past, it hadn't been enough for you to check out, but now eight is enough for you to check now out. Now that I have eight, it's enough. Uh, so, but if you ever find nine, not doing. No. Seven, so well, seven, eight, eight, nine. So that's what happened. <laughs> Wait, why are we six afraid of seven? Because seven, eight, nine. Oh, that, mm. we're also finding a whole bunch of DVDs over here on this shelf, and some really interesting things like the Haunted Histories collection, which I, I already have. I would grab that for my Macari store, but at eight dollars, I think I'm just gonna pass. They also had American Gothic. Chris was telling me I should get this. I've never actually seen this show before. Only four dollars, but it's missing the last disc, so I am gonna end up passing on that. But what I'm not gonna pass on is some Dark Shadows. I don't have either of these sets yet in my collection. We got volume, so volume 15 and the beginning, volume three. Again, I don't I don't have any of these, so I'm gonna, I mean, I have Dark Shadows. I just don't have these releases, so I am gonna, I'm gonna pick those up. They also had some Nat Geo. Is it real vampires? I, I already have this, don't need it. So some interesting things over here, and John's grabbed himself some Goosebump releases. What are those, like two bucks a piece? Yeah. I mean... That's awesome. And a, a Batmobile? Yeah, it's, I think, from Justice League. Buying that? Maybe. That's a maybe. <laughs> it's 15. I'm like, oh. I might be high. Uh, may, 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 maybe. And this is why I'm happy that I mainly stick to movies when it comes to collecting. Well, movies and and Spice Girls, because I, I had no idea they made the office Pez dispensers. That is really cool. I, I used to collect Pez. It's really tempting to pick those up. I also used to have this in my collection at one point. That is really cool. And I'm really digging the Rugrats, I don't know, carrying case or whatever that is. I I want all this stuff. Of course, the vintage Disney mugs are also extremely tempting. There's some vintage Disney down there, more Disney up, up there. There's a lot of really awesome stuff in here that I have to be good and just, and just walk away from. But like, do I want a an animatronic coca-cola can i kind of do so again this thrift store just goes on forever and ever and ever there's all these little pockets and all these little rooms and i just found the the christmas room which for some weird reason has carpet on the wall not really sure what that's about but i kind of dig it in a weird sort of makes me feel kind of creeped out kind of kind of way. So this is awesome. There's tons of vintage Christmas in here. This is uh, this is the room to keep Danielle out of if her and I ever do come here, but maybe the room to bring Chris into. So I'm seeing some pretty cool things. But what really has me intrigued is the little Christmas Santa Claus raccoon here for only $1. I am, I am grabbing this for, for Danielle. That is that is awesome. I'm thinking it's in minty condition. I mean, it can be cleaned. Other than that, though, it's it's looking good. So, all right, yeah, I'm, I'm going to pick that up for her. And whew, I'm still trying to 
catch my breath. It's it's honestly no less dustier up here than it was was downstairs. I <clears throat> I can't catch my breath. It's it, it's too dusty. We honestly could just spend the entire day inside this store. It just goes on and on. There is so much to see, so much to look through. I think in order to in order to see everything that the store does have to offer, you would probably have to spend the entire day inside here. And oh my gosh, if I'm gonna go through all these DVDs, this this, this alone might take me a, a whole day. All right, well, the, the good news is it did not take me a full day to go through all these titles over here. The bad news is there's actually nothing I need. I pretty much have all this stuff, so lots of DVDs, a few Blu-rays, but nothing. So according to my lists, I don't have this on Blu-ray. It's Get Smart's Bruce and Lloyd Out of Control. I could swear that I, I did have it on DVD. I was looking for it on Blu-ray. I eventually did find it on Blu-ray, but again, according to my lists, I never did. So either I never updated my my list, which is absolutely a possibility, or I I don't have it on Blu-ray. I don't know, though. This is still brand new, factory sealed, with the lenticular slip, and it's only $3. If I do need this and I don't buy this, I'm going to be so mad at myself. So I think I'm going to grab it. I probably don't need it, but I'm going to buy... It. Is that a wooden machete? I think it's a butter knife. <laughs> a TV show I never really got into because I never really watched it was Everybody Hates Chris. I remember this show. I think I saw maybe maybe one or two episodes. I remember thinking it was it was okay. But again, I never really got got into it. I know it's narrated by Chris Rock and like inspired by and somewhat written by by Chris Rock. They have every season here in minty condition for only $3. This, this is the entire the entire series, all four seasons. I mean, at three bucks a piece, that's a heck of a deal. Do, do I need to be adding to my ever-growing pile of things I need to watch? No. But I'm, but I'm really intrigued by this show. It's a show, again, I never got into, but I kind of want to check it out to maybe actually get into it. I'm going to pick these up. All the other stores that we've been in today, we were pretty much just in and out of. Maybe maybe we were in them for like, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes tops. We've been inside this store now for probably two hours. I am I am really beginning beginning to feel overwhelmed. It's getting to that point where my eyes are just, they're, they're starting to hurt just from looking at everything. Because again, there is just so much to look through. So many interesting things. I, I, I know I'm, I, I know I'm missing, I'm missing things. I'm looking... We're looking over stuff. I'm look. See, I'm looking over. I'm looking over He Man. Just walk over here. Here's I mean, this. I had the power. And Gremlins. And with the records. This store is insane. There, there's just there's so much to go through. There's more. I. <laughs> the store. The store never ends, which is awesome, but also really, really overwhelming. So John and I are kind of completely losing our minds right now. We just came across the supernatural. Seasons 1 through 15 Blu-ray DVD um, set, set here. Yeah, the complete series set here for $50, which is really, really awesome. But we kind of don't really care about the, the DVD sets. We're just mostly into the Blu-ray sets. Look at this. This is a, I guess, a UK release of Seasons 1 through 8, which is awesome. Region free. That is cool. I would totally pick that up, and I would, I would grab the other two seasons as well. But I don't really want to pay neither of us. But they want to pay fifty dollars. I want the DVDs. If it was, if, I just want the if it was all Blu-ray. Oh yeah, heartbeat. It, yeah, I, I'm thinking the same thing. I would totally buy that in a heartbeat if it was, if it was all Blu-ray. But due to the fact that it's only like, par, mo, mostly Blu-ray. <laughs> and much like the person that collected them, they did a great job. Yeah. Because they got them. That is cool. That, that hurts. It does. I, I want that too. Chris now wants to show off what he found. He's picking up these um, creepy baby dolls here because that's what he's into collecting now. He said, no more Muppets, just creepy, disturbing baby dolls because when the ladies come over to his house, they're not they creeped out it. enough they by all the Muppets. It. They love it. They gotta be creeped out by the by the baby dolls. Anyway, what, what is it you're, you're picking up here? Showbiz Pizza. What? Rockfire Explosion 45 record for uh, $7. Yeah, you know, it, it, 
it's rare that I get excited about things that Chris picks up and that that is cool. All right, that, that's amazing. So, okay, they, yeah, wow, wow. It's gremlins, okay. A new friend. This interesting Sesame Street, uh, like, I don't know how oh, you that, can say this. Like, it's that is like weird. Little book like okay. I have a couple in this series, but I've never seen this one before. All right, so cool. Came up. Masters of the Universe. The record is a little funky, but I'm gonna think I'm gonna fix this up. Okay. I'm gonna fix that up. So it's it's kind of cool. It's a mini comic with two yeah. stories on a book of records. Right. Records in there. Gremlins nice. trapped. Records Minty. in great condition. Nice. The Sesame Street Riddle Book and a, the pop up is oh, wow. in really good shape here. That I is think cool. one of them is not attached like, in the back here, but that's easy I mean, to, that's, kind, yeah, to that's kind of cool. fix. Okay. And then I found this Muppet what? Babies Live program. That's neat. A little water damaged, yeah. The, the cover here has some more damage. It kind of seeped in a little bit around the other pages, but not too bad. And I looked this up online. I can't find this I mean, anywhere. Yeah, buy it, buy it for four, and then right. if you come across a copy that's in better condition okay. down the line, you you rebuy it. Right. So it's a, it's like it's I mean, it's, whatever. It's some water damage, but it's it's a really you know, you know what we call those placeholders. placeholders. That's what it is. It's a placeholder until you find a copy that's in that's in better condition. So all right, you're grabbing that, grabbing all that, grabbing your. Creepy baby dolls. I mean, I, I mean, obviously. Ladies. Wait a minute, hold on. That's not the only thing Chris is picking up. He is also grabbing the the ornament that I found you. Yes, you're, you're, yes. you're welcome for that. That is really cool. That's a really cool big bird ornament. It's kind yeah. of like paper mache or, yeah. or something. That, that is interesting. It's a film over this ball ornament. Like, that, it's like, it's, it's, that is so cool. It's, it's interesting. Do you have anything like that in your collection? I mean, I have big bird ornaments in my collection, and I have ball ornaments in my collection, but I don't have a big bird ball ornament in my collection. So I don't have one of these. So you don't have one of those balls. You're adding more balls to your collection. Your ever-growing collection of balls. And baby dolls. <laughs> Again, ladies. All right, so that is going to do it for, for a lucky dog. Oh, my gosh. For, first off... Ah, fresh, wow. fresh air. It, it's a, it's amazing in there, but, but man, it is, um, it is dusty in there. So, and overwhelming. Dusty and overwhelming is the best way to explain to, to describe Lucky Dog. It's amazing though. We so, so much cool stuff. We all bought lots of things. We're happy. Yeah, I feel like we were in there for like four hours. We, we probably were. All right, we, we still doing more thrifting? Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, gorgeous outside. All right. I have come to the realization that today is just never going to end. So we're we're literally going right next door to the uh, New Holland Tannery Antiques LLC. We've been inside here before. They've got a strange amount of taxidermy, but other cool stuff as well. So, all right, let's go into the lovely room of death and see what we can find. I like that when you first walk in, that's what you see. <laughs> they, can, they can barely contain themselves. Ah. Woo. Even Jesus was disturbed and saddened by that, by that joke. Oh, Jesus you know what? Wept, you know what? I didn't. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Well, we we now know which direction Chris will be going in the future. I've lost Chris, so now I feel like I can actually talk about the the taxidermy. What is this here? A a baby, baby cow, a calf, I think is what that is. There's whatever that is. There's a, a giant bear, all kinds of moose and elk and antelope. And I mean, just hey, chair. Ah, oh, he's back. What? Duck. <laughs> I hate you. Now, I'm not one who's necessarily against taxidermy, but I don't really know what to say about this much of it in in one place this is insane look at the size of this grizzly bear that is that is huge there's a a wolf they got bison here there i mean there's just all kinds of of stuff there's a, a polar bear i don't want to know what this thing there is another bison more more bear they got they got lions it's just i Really don't know what to say. I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna walk away. Yeah. Forget the taxidermy or the uh, really awesome vintage TMNT water bottles that I could swear I used to have when I was a kid. Is that a hand puppet? No. It's actually talking <laughs> Godzilla. Got to make it say, Alan. <laughs> that is that is awesome. But forget all of that. 
what I'm losing my mind over right now are all the Pez dispensers. Now, this right here brings back memories. I, I mean, this was this was my bedroom at one point. It was just an army of of a Pez dispensers. I had most of these. Some of these were were ones that came after I stopped collecting, but that is that is impressive. And that that's the kind of thing I don't need to see because because that's what makes me want to start collecting Pez again. I really do. I I do miss collecting, but. I can't get back into it. Oh, we got to see what Chris is freaking out over right here. O S O S O S. And when when Chris starts dropping the uh, the curse words, you know he found something pretty good. Holy, holy s! Wow. <laughs> These are movie minis, diecast figures. There's Animal, Gonzo. That's some cool. Looney Tunes. Yeah. Here's some. Here's Kermit, oh, that's neat. Rolf. Okay. Fozzy. I never, I've never, I've face. never seen this these before. Goon with the wind. Go, oh, go with the weird. Go with the weird. <laughs> it was goon with the weird. Go, and this is uh, the whole set of them. Wow. They're at least like ten bucks each. That's really tempting. Do you have those? I do have these. I, when I was a kid, I found these at a store and opened them up. So I have them open, and then I found them a few years ago. <laughs> of course, minty fresh. But you don't see these just out and about. That's what I love about so. you and your collecting. It's the fact that you, you have collected since you were a kid. This is not some fad that no. you came into in like your 20s or 30s. This was like something you've been into since you were a wee, a wee little lad. Are you buying those? We'll see. We'll see. All right. All right. So heading downstairs now. We're not really finding much of anything up there. They did have a little pocket of movies, but there, there wasn't really anything I wanted to pick up. So down now into the... Ah! <laughs> okay, in all fairness, she scared me. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the the literally haunted basement if you don't know this antique store is actually haunted they had investigators come out here that the whole the whole place is haunted we were told that last time we came here oh <sighs> all right i'm gonna just take my heart stick it back into my chest jeez did, what, did that just fall down on me sure, sure was that the ghost yeah we'll go with that or was that you you got me we are finding more dvds vhs even a couple of uh blu-rays down here as well though i don't really see anything i i need you're gonna go with wait you're gonna go with that? Co congo congo Con congo are you, are you picking that up? No, it's not. I don't have a cassette player. <laughs> it's Colleen and Christie's wedding, July 1994. Avoid. Never released to Blu-ray. <laughs> I mean, do you think it has the fun stuff? I was, I was gonna say, does it have what they did after the wedding on it? Was Only you time? can find out. <laughs> I kind of want to. We're pretty much finding somebody's entire life inside these bins here. We've got Karen's 40th birthday, Bever's 50th anniversary, vacation with grandchildren, August 1994. Cash Graduation, 1989. Mom and Dad's Sexy Time, 1993. I mean, we're finding all kinds of interesting things in here. This one, this one has a after school special. <laughs> these ones. These ones. These, these, these ones. ones. <laughs> like Eagle. Master. Master. These ones have after school special. Now the second time today. <laughs> I've, been la I've literally been in tears crying, laughing. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I always give you guys a hard time, but when I'm in the Florida, I'm, 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 gonna, I'm gonna miss you he guys. He needs to laugh. He's had a stressful last, <laughs> last month or two. Oh my gosh, it's always a it's always a fun time in that store. Unfortunately, we did not actually find anything we wanted to pick up, but we got to see lots of taxidermy and uh, the people who run the store. People who run the store are very, very nice as well. They, they allow you to just kind of go in there and just, just have a good time. It's a cool store, but all right. Walking out empty-handed. I mean, you saw a couple of ghosts. Is that true? <laughs> we go to one more store? Sure. All right, let's, let's go to one more store. That's maybe possibly not so haunted. All right, one last store we're going to be hitting up today is the Reuse It store. This is also a rather giant thrift store. It's uh, about two stories. It's got a huge downstairs, a big upstairs area. I, I will fully admit, though, this store can be can be extremely hit or miss. I have walked out of here empty-handed uh, a, a few a few times. Wow, last time I was here. This yeah, whole th this, this whole area here is completely empty for for some reason. I don't know. I'm gonna look for movies. 
and I'm about 99.9% .9 sure that Chris will probably walk out of here finding some Muppets. Book sale? Where's the, the DVD sale? Books, CDs, and DVDs are 25% off. Okay then. We've only been in the store for all of what two minutes, and already John's freaking out over the um, the Thanos down there for fifteen dollars. But you were saying that's a that's a heck of a deal for the Thanos, right? Not bad. That, that's awesome. Looking at its other head. I'm kind of freaking out over the uh, the Shadow Master there from the Double Dragon cartoon series. That that's cool to see. Mm -hmm. Are you, you getting the Thanos? Oh yeah. Just make sure nobody grabs it. <laughs> I'm just you're just gonna stand there and guard it. Hold it here, but I have it. Makes sense. All right, clearly it's getting late in the day if you can't, if you can't tell. But anyway, so th the reason why we came in here and what we just beelined it to is the, uh, was to the, uh, the movies over here. And right away, I'm actually finding something I, I want to pick up. It's kind of a funny story. And I actually have kind of a funny story. <laughs> How funny is your story? It, it's hilarious. I just watched this for the first time last night. Oh, wow. <gasps> Isn't that funny? Oh, gee golly. <laughs> anyway, I only had it on DVD, so uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. I'm going to pick this up, and all movies right now are 25% off. So for what? three for three dollars. Now I'm up. Now I'm up. I'm up. I'm up. <laughs> John's down. I'm up. John's down. I think get that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can I get back up now? <laughs> so for three dollars, I'm picking this up and. That is a funny story. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it's time to go home. <laughs> anyway, so went through the rest of the movies. Did not really find anything else I want to pick up, with the exception of this "Alone in the Wilderness" Part Two, brand new, factory sealed for for two dollars, twenty five percent off. That's making a terrible sound. You should probably not be. Bull in a china shop. You know what's going to happen? You're going to lean on this. And it's going to come down. And then the whole building is going to come down on top of us. Yes. Anyway, so this this is awesome. This is kind of rare, more obscure. I already have this in my own collection. So I'm grabbing this for uh, for Macari. That goes for a little bit. Brand new factory seal. That, that's awesome. But I'm thinking that's going to do it. I don't actually see anything else I want to pick up over here. You guys grabbing... Anything? Are you buying the Spider-Man book? I'm thinking about this. Pick up the Spider-Man coloring book. Look at, that, look at that robot. It's super minty. It's a very interesting robot. It's super minty, except like one page oh. has like a little bit of coloring, coloring on it. it. Where, where is it now? I can't. Now I can't find it. Oh, this that, that's spider weird. head and this. I'll take care of him. <laughs> I'll take care of making this book mint. That's what. That's what this kid. You got to buy it. It's fifty cents. I don't know. Like, it, I, don't, I don't. Anyway, frame it. It'll, it'll look cool. There you go. All right, anyway. Not, not, not as amazing as I wanted to do. Let's push this over. It's <laughs> funny. Are we done? What? Sure. I'm, I'm going to go home and take a nap. All right, naps are great. Okay, so that was a pretty quick trip into uh, the reuse it store. We didn't really find much of anything. Chris, surprisingly, he, he passed on the Spider-Man. Amazingly. Amazingly, you passed on the Spider-Man. <laughs> I mean, that's... That's kind of a funny story right there in of oh, itself. God. <laughs> and you got the Thanos, which is not so much of a funny yeah, story. No, no, don't, don't do it. Don't do it. All right. So I'm thinking that's going to do it for today. It's getting late. I mean, the sun is literally setting. We're all, we're beat. We have like a 45 minute drive back home. So Woo. I'm going to say that's going to do it for. Back to my car. For today. So, all right, guys, as always, thank you all so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Check down below for links to Patreon. If you guys do become a patron, I will send you a postcard every single month from the road. Also check down below for a link to Spreadshirt where you can grab yourself retro rest stop t-shirts, proceeds, both from Spreadshirt and from Patreon. Patreon do help support the show and they do keep the show going. And check down below for a link to Muppet Stuff. And check down below for a link to some of the bowls, movies. Did you just burp? No. <laughs> oh, no. Like he doesn't even know. He's like, I'm so tired. I don't even know what uh, I just did. And if you guys watch this video, if you guys watch, that's, that's the hashtag if you guys right watch this video yes. all the way to the very end, hashtag bodily, bodily functions. functions. Such as sleep or naps. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's going to do it. So like I said, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And if you do hit that subscribe button or you are subscribed, then I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Words that begin with Q. <laughs> Bye. Hold on, wait a minute, we're not quite done yet. We decided to quickly stop into Walmart to maybe possibly pick up a few things. 
John's over here finding the the amazing Steelbook release of Walk Hard, one of the greatest comedies ever. I might have a copy of that coming to me. If not, I'm, I'm gonna have to come back and get one of those for myself. And then Chris is picking up some pop collectors. Funko Pop collector things uh, and, and oh, pop okay. Pop collecting protectors. Protectors, that's the, that's word, the word. Pop protectors. And you're also- Because they're one of the ones that have the extra ridge on top because they're like ruffles. They have got ridges. <laughs> and you're also picking up Scumbag, uh, scumbag from the uh, because the new turtles movie i needed a action figure of myself <laughs> so i saw it through the shelf and i said this looks i mean it the likeness is identical so i had to pick it up and your and your shredder's girlfriend spoiler alert and i'm picking up i like to get shredded what can i shred? i'm thinking oh geez i'm picking up three things here so on clearance for only five dollars i'm grabbing these smurfs springtime specials i'm also finally picking up the complete 13th season of spongebob squarepants i think i'm missing season 12 i have to get that at some point and I'm also grabbing the complete fourth season of Sailor Moon, Sailor Moon Super S. I don't have the fourth season yet, so wanted to grab that. I'm, I'm splurging. I'm, I'm spending some money. We're all spending some money, but now can we finally go home? Yes. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. I'll see you guys next video. Bye.